Hello folks, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about Lumix finally releasing a new registration or Lumix finally registering uh, <laughs> a new uh, <laughs> a new um, a new code or registered um, thing. <laughs> well, my daughter is here with me in the studio. Uh, I have had this information for quite a while and I think a lot of people have had it, uh, but I haven't got the time to actually talk about it because as you see, um, I'm, my hand is full with two daughters and a lot of responsibilities. So um, that's how it is at the moment. Uh, but yeah, so don't mind if you hear some noises you know already what it is. So let me start registered a new camera back in July 12th in China. So that exactly connects to my last video where after the release of the GH7 and the S9, uh, I talked about my worries on the S1H Mark II being released. And soon we're gonna talk more about it. But if you wanna see that video, at the end of this video, I will make sure to link it so you can go and, and watch it. But let's go straight into this video and talk about uh, what I was worried about a little bit from that video. So I was talking about at that time because we had only one registration done in September that it was left because Lumix registered three cameras and two of them came out. So the S9 first, and then the GH7 two months later, and then there was only one, and then there was only one uh, registration left. <laughs> so, um, hi, yes. <laughs> so basically, um, I was worried because the Leica SL3 uh, just came out at that time, and we all knew that um, that sensor it was going to be used with the S1R Mark II. So that was going to be the high megapixel count uh, sensor from Lumix. So I was basically saying that I doubt it that Lumix will put that sensor, I'm coming. So I was just saying that um, I doubt it that Lumix was going to put that 60 megapixel sensor into the S1H Mark II, just because Lumix is not, like Lumix does not want to do 8K, at least for what we have heard. They are not interested, and I, I'm with them on that. Like 8K, it's not needed. The really like, if we have open gate 6K already, 8K is not needed because if you want to scale on on the format, on, on the crop and whatever, like you want to do social media and stuff, you can scale the open gate and that's already amazing. So you don't really need 8K so that you can crop in that sensor and do things when you have open gate already. So um, that basically was my worries because that meant that the S1H Mark II was nowhere near to be seen at that point in time until last month. July the 12th, Lumix registered um, a new camera. So the P2403A, I, I think that's the code, the right code for the newest because the previous one was 03A. So that is pretty amazing. So that basically solved all my worries. And I think we are going to receive two cameras now probably, and I hope at the same time, or a distant one from another. So we finally have a new registration. So the higher megapixel count from Lumix is coming and the our love or beloved S1H Mark II, it's most probably and due to come out because Lumix started again losing um, or any all the camera manufacturers now are a little bit crawling down. So now the Lumix is about to release these two cameras. Most probably um, they're gonna come back up. And the S1H Mark II is the camera that many, many people are waiting for. And if it has the features I hope it has, it's gonna steal a lot from the market. 
Features like the GH7 in a full frame body and internal B-RAW, which I hope so for real, like I really hope they will do that because Blackmagic is now part of the L Mount of Alliance. So they should kind of find an agreement. The RE C Log in a full frame body. That I doubt. Um, just because um, it will maybe compete too much with RE cameras. Of course, Aries are standalone cinema cameras. You can't compete with them. But if you release an S1H, which is kind of one of the best sensors out there and cameras out there with an REC log, <laughs> it might compete too much. So I'm not 100% sure if they are actually going to do that. But if they do it, thumbs up, amazing. We have uh, a, a, another <laughs> log format from um except from vlog to actually use so that is amazing and it can open a lot of doors in collaborating with people who actually use re cameras but i think it will compete too much with the gh7 and it might steal customer away from the gh7 so i doubt it of course it's gonna have this face detect hybrid autofocus probably a newer version why not why not, right? <laughs> and one of the things that excited me the most, because we saw a pattern where Lumix was working on an ND filters for a mirrorless camera. So an, an in-body, basically, ND filters. Uh, so if they manage to do that and still keep the amazing IBIS system they have, chapeau, steal my money, and I'm sold. So those are the things that I really, I, hey, I'm, a, I'm coming, I'm coming, okay? Come, come on, come. So those are the things I really, really hope to see. And I, I, I can't, I, I can't, I can't see anything like, um, different from that coming from from lumix and especially i hope to see like a stacked sensor so a sensor with a faster readout because um it's amazing the the s1 the s5 mark ii x and the s5 mark ii sensor are amazing but they are an old sensor that they have been developing for so long and i think now it's actually time to start developing something new, something that it will be better than what they currently offer. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I'm sorry for the lot of noise, but you know, uh, that duties and have to keep this YouTube channel going. So um, there is one more thing though, because Apparently, Lumix is working on a box cinema camera. So the new registration, yes, the new registration might be based on that. So Lumix has a lot to deliver at this moment, but no pressure because we will love to see the best of the best when it comes to the S1H Mark II. So, Thank you guys for listening, for supporting, and for keeping coming back. Consider subscribing for more videos like this and for more reviews videos. And take good care of yourself. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Say ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Say ciao, ciao. <laughs> okay. See you.